Thomas the tank engine is grumbling to the other engines. I spend my time pushing and pulling coaches ready for you to take out on journeys. The other engines laughed. Why can't I pull passenger trains? You're too impatient, said Gordon. You'd surely leave something behind, finished Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were in the sheds. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. He felt just as bad the next morning. If Henry is ill, thought Thomas, perhaps I shall pull his train. And Thomas left to shunt the coaches. He got the coaches to the platform quickly and wanted to run around front immediately. Be patient, Thomas, said the driver. Soon the fat controller came to see what was the matter. Find another engine, he said. There's only Thomas, said the station master. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Oh, yes, sir, replied Thomas. He ran around to the front of the train. What happens next, no one knows. Perhaps the driver pulled the lever by mistake, or they forgot to couple Thomas. For whatever reason, Thomas started without his train. People waved and shouted, trying to get Thomas to stop, but he didn't. They're waiting because I'm such a splendid engine, he thought. He didn't stop till he came to a signal. Bother! We were going so nicely. What a nuisance signals are. The signalman came up. What are you doing here? I'm pulling a train. Can't you see? Then where are your coaches? Why, bless me, said Thomas, if we haven't left them behind. Never mind, Thomas. We'll go back and try again. They made it back to the station, coupled Thomas to the train, and this time, he really pulled it. All the other engines teased him about it. They said, look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train but forgot the coaches.